Hi everyone, welcome to a very anticipated episode of The Guest Life. We woke up very excited today, the kids and I, we were just fluttering around like busy little bumblebees trying to button up the last things. Um, in a few hours, I'm guessing about four to five hours, we will be heading back home to the cabin. John will come and pick us up. We still have to go get some groceries. Hopefully the co-op has some boxes so we can pack things tight for uh, the sleighs. We've got two sleighs and there's my pile so far. Hopefully it doesn't get much bigger than that because we have to get the pile plus nine bodies with the dogs and everything. This will be Camry's first trip out in the sleigh. Hopefully she does all right. What? What? Boo-boo. Is your boo-boo on your foot better? Yeah. Oh, you got your sock on? Marley has a sore foot apparently. I don't know what's going on with that. We've checked and we can't see anything. But I'll let you guys go for now. I'm gonna get these kids ready. We'll go to the co-op and then I think we're gonna head over to grandma and grandpa's and give them one more squeezer hug before we hit the lake. But I will be, maybe I'll check in once more before you have the snowmobile footage, we'll see. There, I think we're all packed up minus the freezer food that's gonna go in those few empty boxes there. John's thinking of bringing three sleighs back with two sleds. So we might have to B train one if some of this stuff doesn't fit in just two sleighs. I got everybody's people piles right ready for after nap time. And just in case any of you are interested in this, of course, on my fourth kid, I end up figuring things out. With little people suits, the legs always ride up. We go skidooing or I'm holding a little person on my hip and the legs always ride up and their little ankles are showing because little people boots are so short and then they don't make the legs long enough, it seems, or something. So I ended up putting little straps. If you can remember in the 80s and 90s, those stirrup pants, it's kind of like the same concept. So we tried it out a few times. It works really good. That little strap just goes under her boot and now we don't have any more little leg showing when we're out and about. I just put my phone down and guess who showed up? Yay, time to load everything up. Well, I think we're all loaded up and ready to go. I won't be able to do too much filming on the way there because I have to drive the snowmobile. Um, John's been having to drag his legs to kick up snow because the slides are burning left, right, and center. Shale's going to have to go in the back and hold the dogs, which I was going to do so I could film easier, but that's okay. I'll try to get a few snippets for you guys, um, but I probably won't talk to you until we get out on the lake because John said the trail to get from home to the lake is a little bit hairy. We have to go the long way around and take a different route because the ice is still kind of soggy where we usually take off, but I will check it in a bit. We made it onto the lake. You're doing a good job, Camry. Stay, stay. Good girl. We'll be at the cabin soon. Sit down. Oh, Pinto, cuddle in. You'll be all right. Making it before sundown. Off we go. Okay. We'll do. Off we go. John told me to drag my heels, but uh, my legs are a little bit too short, so I have to tow it. Jump ship. Only listen, to Mama. Please. A stinker. We're having a beautiful ride out, but zero snow. These poor snowmobiles. My thighs are going to be sore tomorrow from dragging my feet. Marley's little pants straps are working perfect. Woohoo! Or 
this out here. I've just missed it. They're not leaving us. We're going to find them. Are we home, Marley? My purple out. What? It's purple out? Yeah. Kind of. Oh, isn't it beautiful? Did you miss your sunsets? Should we go climb up that icy hill? Mommy carry you? We're home. Still looks like summer around here. I can completely see my garden, half the rocks. Crazy snow. A couple more loads of hauling and it'll be all done. If we didn't move out right before Christmas, this would look a lot different. We've got loads and loads of things to bring up. Surprise boxes filled with goodies. And this ice isn't making it any easier. Slide down the hill. <laughs> it looks like John and his brother plumbed hardline all the way down to the lake. Maybe a winter permanent water line is in my future. Crazy dudes. Overheating. Well, I think we got everything up and John's just gonna run me through this water system before he leaves because with the way the snow is, it's probably not best for him to be going back and forth in the snowmobile. He's just gonna wreck them. So Casey's not back until the weekend. I better figure out how to pump ourselves some water. And I gotta figure out what to make these kids for supper. It always ends up being an oversight Ooh, for some reason. Find them something super simple, but I'm gonna let you guys go. Have yourselves a really good week. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.